So over here you can see that I have a bunch of video clips and I have a video clip over here on my timeline. So if you want to view their details, uh, then you can go around, click on properties and here you can see the video properties right here. So you can see that this is 29.97 frame rate and so forth. But if you want to uh, see more file details, you can go to metadata tab right here and you can see more options. Like you can see that there is the creation time right here of this very video right here. So you know when this is a video from 2020 and the handler name right here is there as well. So there's vendor ID, there's major brand right here. So you can see what version is this and what is the encoder, everything in detail as you can see right here. So you can go around, see the video details under the video tab where you can view more of the video information and you can also view author and also view different um, details according to how you like it as you can see right here. And that is how you can basically access the uh, metadata of a video file and even the audio file right here. So let me just go around and create out a new track. So I'm going to insert uh, an audio track right here, add an audio track. And then let me go around, bring in uh, it here anniversary right here, just like this. And if I were to go around onto uh, properties right here under metadata, you can see that the encoder is Google for this one. And the encoder is LAVF. And you can see that there's XMP data over here as well. And under audio, you can see that this is a stereo audio. You can see that this is the format, the sample rate and so forth right here. So that is how you can access out metadata of audio and video inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.